Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all finally got my front door made right here. Just want to give y'all a look and show you how that turned out. I just uh, used some of uh, my smaller sawmill boards I had, not quite as wide. And uh, that's pretty much all I had left. So uh, it turned out real good. I just put a uh, cross brace right there, diagonal brace on the inside of it. That's how it looks. This door here is a little wider, so that's why I did that diagonal brace there. Maybe help support it a little bit better. But, uh, got pretty much everything on the outside done. And, uh, just walk, whoop, getting dark in here. Open this up. I'm gonna like those shutters, y'all. And, uh, y'all see right here, I got my wood and stuff stored in here still. And, uh, probably be using some of those posts. Uh, for too long just right now just put all my saws and ladder and stuff in here and just uh, over here is my side door go out right here while you're at it go ahead and open that up get it latched See that not got hard to hold the camera and stuff. Same time there, get that latch. Can tell y'all I'm enjoying this fall weather. A little pun I dug right there. You see the leaves all covering it up, half of it right there. We're gonna have to wait to see how this pond turns out once we get some rain. We had no rain all month of October, so it's been over four or five weeks, y'all, since we got any rain. You can see how low this pond done got, and you can tell how green it is, too. I'm not really sure why it's that color, but <laughs> it's like neon green. But uh, most of the greens in there, I should have already watered them. Um, they're not doing quite as good because I haven't watered them, but I'm supposed to be getting some rain tomorrow. So hopefully uh, they'll shoot on it up there. But uh, yeah, I just got to uh, get in here and start to get my uh, coal forge built right over here in this corner. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. Get me a, a pipe going up through my roof and get my vise in here. Got to get me a good stump or something to mount my vise on. Also, uh, got to get my blacksmith vice mounted somewhere give me some uh some kind of a uh, bench or something built right in here so i've still got a lot of work y'all just uh just gonna be a work in progress but at least i got my shop for most part built haven't got no uh batten strips on the outside of it yet uh, that part of it i'm gonna hold off on right now because i'm not 100 percent sure I'm gonna put batten strips on. I'm just gonna have to see, you know, how everything, you know, works for me. If I feel I need putting them on there, it won't be no problem. I'll just get some, cut them. And, uh, for, well, actually, I have to go to sawmill. I ain't, I'm not gonna have more wood to cut the uh, batten strips. So I, I'll just go to sawmill, buy me some. But, uh, that ain't no big deal. And, uh, so yeah, y'all, I'm just giving y'all a little update today. Uh, I'm gonna take you to my leather shop and show you a um side of leather also got in today first time but well, ain't first time i bought some leather from this from this tannery i think it's the second time but this first time i bought some uh leather from you know making knife sheaves and stuff i just want to show you all what that looks like and i'm fixing to head on over right now all right y'all i'm here in this uh shop next to my leather shop and uh got this uh, leather rolled out this is a uh, eight to nine ounce side of Sapici or Sapici leather. I'm not really sure how they pronounce that. This is going to be the uh, second side of leather ordered from uh, this tannery. The first was a two to three ounce, I believe. And this, like I said, is eight to nine ounce. And I've ordered this uh, particular side from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. The first time I ordered leather from those uh, folks. And uh, y'all, I tell you, this leather is probably the cleanest side nicest side of leather that i've gotten from any tannery and i done ordered i know at least four different uh tanneries 
And this is gonna be the nicest side of leather that I've got. Very, very happy with this leather. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell in the camera, but this leather is clean. I mean, I might see a little light spot right here. I don't know if y'all can pick that up, a little light spot there, but that don't, I mean, as far as the smoothness of the outside of this leather, I mean, it is nice, clean. I don't really see scars all over it. I mean, it's very, very nice leather. And let me just show you the back side of it here. Y'all look how good this leather looks on the back side. It's really smooth, very nice. It don't, you know, it's not dirty. I mean, just very nice leather back here on the back side. And right there, that's 23 square foot. Uh, Y'all, I'll be buying some more leather uh, from this tanner just because if this is what they have coming out of their tanner, this is some of the best I've ever gotten. And uh, we're going to see how it works, you know, as far as making nice sheaths. But I believe uh, I'm going to like it. And uh, y'all see right there, I've cut a piece already. I'll be working on sheath. And I'll show y'all uh, that in a minute. And see how it turns out, y'all, and see what I think about it. But anyway, y'all, uh, I just want to show you that uh, piece of leather right there. And uh, I'll be uh, stepping next door here and getting that sheet started. So uh, y'all come on over with me and uh, let me uh, get started on that sheath. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it works there as far as making live sheaths. Uh, I've got this nice sheet finished. I just want to show y'all what it uh, looks like and how it turned out. There you go. I think it turned out real nice. This is for a uh, Case Sidebuster Junior knife. Let me show you the edges of it right there. Let me show the back of it. Y'all, I'm really happy with this leather. Uh, it was easy to work with, easy to uh, cut cut out the uh, leather for this knife sheath. And um, y'all, that leather don't have, I, I didn't see no scars, be honest with you on it. Not to say it don't have some, but I didn't see any. And uh, it's uh, really, really easy to work with. And I believe it's going to be my new favorite leather, y'all. Unless I just got lucky, got a good side, I don't know. But I'm really happy with this leather. And uh, uh, I'm going to give another, uh, when, I, when I run out of this leather, I'm going to buy some more. And uh, see see if I get another good side. But anyway, I just want to bring y'all along long day. Show you that new leather I got. And I'll show you my blacksmith shop, how it's come along. And um just uh just uh give you a little bit of what i was doing here today and uh, if anybody's interested in this uh leather sheath right here i'll be leaving a link down below in my description where y'all go check it out on my etsy shop and y'all so way there you can look at some other nice sheath stuff i got over there i appreciate it but um appreciate y'all coming along appreciate y'all watching the videos and commenting i always like that and as always friends from my family to yours y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you later Bye bye